Welcome to Speak of Design and Manufacturing's In Our Defense, Episode 3. I'm Chad Catron, handle sales and logistics for the company. I'm joined by Katie Spica, our CEO, Becky Spica, our Vice President and Director of Sales, and Shandon Rhea, our Director of Design Engineering and Drafting. Today we're going to visit about how the military uh, and us can work together and just as an industry, how the military can provide safe access to various different points. So uh, we in the past have talked about aircraft uh, and getting them to the points to work on those aircraft uh, in a safe manner. Uh, but there are a lot of other things in the industry uh, that need the access and want to keep personnel safe. Uh, one of those that comes to mind for me is uh, vessels. You know, we, our United States Coast Guard obviously works with a lot of different vessels uh, and we want to discuss how maybe we can assist uh, or industry can assist in getting them safe access for their personnel. Shannon, I'm curious from a design standpoint, have some experience with getting those customers to a, a safe point on that vessel yeah so uh typically what we start looking at is things like um wanting a staircase instead of you know ladders and things like that um and you know there's different offerings out there for you know cottermans and things like that but you know that's not gonna maybe reach the correct heights or you know accommodate oddities um so we've done a few different cantilevered staircase access really is what it turns out to be um and oftentimes height variability comes into play so we're not looking at fixed site staircases either so um, you know with our variable pitch design uh, staircase we can usually come up with pretty unique um, accommodations for height variability and quite high systems that allow you to use a staircase to get up there rather than ladders on the scaffolding so yeah yeah Becky do you have uh been with the company for years now what uh what kind of different applications have you seen uh, with getting that access to the vessel and and what the staircase can bring to that sort of application mm. i'd say generally speaking um we do advise on the staircase in most situations including ones where they're trying to access some type of vessel um just because of the ease of use the, the, there are situations where constraints, um, especially in older buildings, which is common, I'd say, in the military. So there's going to be some situations where ladders will have to be utilized, but um, staircases are just very user-friendly, uh, especially when you're going up to um, a great height. So yeah. um, I've seen I've seen the application of our platforms and the staircases for access um, for maintaining like ships that are um, people are constantly having to go up and down. And so in that situation, there's definitely a benefit to having the staircase there. Well, and, and like you said, going up and down constantly, and then also with, you know, handling objects, if you're taking them uh, up and down to either board the ship or mm -hmm. uh, take up tools, anything of that nature, it's certainly a great benefit to have that staircase as opposed to juggling that up a ladder, mm -hmm. uh, or even a ship staircase. Uh, yeah, in that for sure. circumstance. So, yep. Thinking of different applications, you know, another one would be uh, tactical vehicles. Uh, you know, they're big, they're cumbersome. On the height, uh, most access is needed on top of them. Uh, and to provide that safe access, uh, what's our experience with with how uh, we found that we could uh, assist with, with getting safe access onto that type of, of tooling, a, a tactical vehicle, for instance. When we get requests for um, this type of project, and Chad, you would probably be able to speak better to this, 
But I feel like most of the time people are using ladders, right, for access, um, or they're actually having to climb on top of the vehicle um, to get where they need to go. And it's not always the safest, and it's definitely not the most um, efficient way for access either. So is that, in your experience, what you what do you hear as well? Yeah, certainly. Uh, and, and versatility, they want to be able to, you know, one of the big things that uh, I believe is important to the customer is being able to get up there and, and work, not just safely, but also uh, be able to get access to multiple points, uh, you know, using a ladder to get up there or, or standing on the ladder to do the work, just they're going to have to move that ladder repeatedly. Uh, and, and the balancing we'll, is just so awkward. That, that image, Shannon, if you wanted to pull that image back up and, and be able to kind of showcase that where they can walk around. Uh, in, a, in a system like this, wouldn't have to stop at this. You know, we talk about our, our phase uh, units on aircraft, for instance, where it kind of wraps around the entire thing. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, something like this, that's certainly a possibility as well. Uh, for virtually any uh, tactical vehicle uh, and be able to provide that access all the way around it uh, when necessary. Um, that makes me think, you know, I think one of the reasons why there's there's systems such as this that are only a kind of give access to half of the vehicle, for instance, is, is space constraints. Uh, those become a big concern uh, in hangars and in warehouses and whatnot. Uh, Shannon, I think you have an image that you could share that kind of talks about uh, storage options and giving them better um, examples of how we can accommodate that or, or the industry can uh, to be able to better provide the access, but also take into uh, consideration the storage aspect of things as well. Uh, what can you tell us about this one? Well, this is a system that the facility had pretty tight storage requirements as well as mobility to the uh, workspace. So to get around that, we actually had um, you know, storage racks for the handrail. It's almost like deploying the system in a way. Uh, the decks could flip down. So looking on end, they're only you know, two feet wide or so. You can maneuver those around. And we get to the workpiece, you can rotate them up. Um, you know, the designs facilitate that by the human can rotate it, their uh, gas spring assist and such. So you get it to where you need to, you rotate out, you now have a, you know, a pretty large work area once you do that. Um, and then a compact storage uh, size as well. Um, I guess another thing about the tactical vehicle access I'd throw in there is, you know, most of them aren't very tall. Um, so we're starting to work from much lower starting heights. Uh, to get your work area, you know, maybe you want to work on something at chest height and that's not quite doable from ground, you know, so we're starting pretty low off the ground when possible uh, and we can accommodate that and then going up to a height where you wouldn't be able to reach from the ground. So and keeping that wrap around um, solution in mind, you know, you don't have to move the ladder position to position uh, rather than that, you just bring the entire work area up to where you want um, and the benefits of that could be access all around as well as the ability to provide fault protection atop the objects. Um, you know, if we're working at level with the system and you have a work platform level with your um, top of your vehicle, aircraft, you know, object, you know, we can always add spanner rails that cross over the system. So you have 360 degree fault protection. Um, and that, that usually is also a pretty big um, plus uh, to get away from things like lanyards and the uh, fall arrest. You know, just being able to walk from a safe platform onto your object and have 360 degree fall protection is always a, a plus. Yeah, and we I think we see that more and more in, in uh, military as a whole is is more conscious of it and the different applications that uh, uh, they are at an elevated height uh, and being that safety conscious. Uh, to be on a platform as opposed to having the fall restraint, uh, the lanyard type systems, uh, I think is a great plus to them. Um, and, you know, things that kind of cross over from other industries, uh, for instance, the oil industry, we've, we've worked in that both in an aircraft uh, standpoint, but then also 
uh, waste tanks or uh, oil tankers, things of that nature, getting access to those that um, maybe aren't top of mind when you think of military, but they exist. Uh, and uh, being able to, for, for them to be able to find safe access for their personnel, um, I think is important. You know, we, Shannon, I think you have an image of, of one of the waste tanks uh, or maybe a couple different versions uh, where it, it can show that access uh, and let the military kind of consider, you know, different applications that they may need that assistance with, uh, I think is a great thing. And, and Beck, I know you have a lot more experience working with uh, tanker trailers, uh, mm -hmm. things of that nature, where, you know, those are those are filled and or empty typically at the very top. Uh, and and that gets considerably higher off the ground than you want to just be jumping up there. And the picture on the screen was your project there. Uh, and it looks like they were standing on top of it. And um, once they exited the platform, is that right? Yeah, well, and in that application, they weren't going to be, uh, they were what they were avoiding stepping off of the platform uh, and yep. wanted to be able to have that safe structure, 360 degree coverage, uh, but they're accessing a hole on the top uh, okay. uh, on a waste tank, an oil waste tank. Um, mm -hmm. And that's something we find, uh, and I think as an industry we find, is getting our customers getting the military to understand that they don't have to always work on on the equipment when they're working on the equipment mm -hmm. uh, be standing on the protection of the platform yeah uh, but getting that creative access to uh, whatever tooling on their end that they are trying to access and, and either repair or you know in the case of a waste tank fill and or empty uh said tanks so what wasn't thought to be accessible in the past, uh, customers are, are finding a way to make it accessible uh, with the assistance from from companies that make the platforms and then try to get them that access. Uh, and I think that's an important aspect, only keeping the personnel safe, but keeping their product safe, whether it be an aircraft uh, or a tanker trailer, uh, but keeping it to where there, there's no damage happening to theirs with some clunky product running into it or things yeah. of that nature. Uh, you know, these these have the protective padding. I think, Shannon, you're kind of showcasing that uh, right there uh, to be able to interface with the equipment without the potential for damage. Mm. So Shannon, this one in particular, they didn't need access to the top of the tank. They just needed to have comfortable um, arm level, hand level access. Correct. Uh, you know, currently you could do something like this off a ladder, get the job done. They're just uh, guiding a tube into the manhole to fill the tank, right? Whereas, you know, really it's not an ideal solution to be standing up there on a ladder while you're having to handle something. So you start looking at staircases and such now. Uh, as where this comes into play is these are custom, you know, they accommodate needing cantilever and such to get around the contour. Because if you just put a standard fixed height staircase up to this, you're going to end up with a, a gap here. Uh, and you're going to be wanting to lean out as close to the work area as possible. And if you just have a you know three-sided railing system, it's going to be hard to do. You'd probably be able to do it, but it's not going to be comfortable. Uh, you're going to be leaning uh, and stretching to get to where you want to. Whereas this gets you butt it up right against your tank. Uh, in this case, um, like Chad was mentioning, we always take care just from same as aircraft. We don't want to mar the product. Um, so we put productive rubber, foam, thing like things like that on our interfaces. But looking at this, you can see how the worker's going to be able to walk right up to the edge of the tank, have 360 degree fall protection for the height they're at. There's no gaps. And they're going to be comfortably working on a platform um, and just being able to reach to the work they want to without straining themselves and things like that. So it's kind of the benefit of getting cantilever as well as customization. Um, you know, in this case, someone got to choose the height that they know they want to be standing at rather than look through and find, oh, they only have eight foot and 10 foot options and I got three railings. So mm -hmm. we're really able to accommodate something like this. Um, and same with the, the large amount of cantilever coming into play is, 
you know, you're, you know, in this case, you might be fixed into how the system's set up or what you're working on is at that location. You don't really have the ability to make a custom. You, know, you can't change how the product's sitting. So we get to come in here and, you know, I need this much cantilever. You know, this is a lot of cantilever to get these manhole covers. They allow full walking access above it. Um, and safety features that can be accommodated for is safety gates that don't allow access when it's, um, you know, not over the tank. Someone might still want to be up there prior to that. You know, the safety gates and safety conscious items that um, you know, allow it to be a full working platform that's safe at all times. You know, I had a one of our customers gave me some feedback where they had a situation very similar to what we were just looking at, and they were using the ladders for access to the standard um, off the shelf ladder prior to getting a speaker system. And I believe they said that um, just having the staircase alone versus having the ladder and having a, the staircase system be able to be mobile, it saved them 15 minutes per station just because they didn't have to keep getting up and down off the ladder. So it really increased their cycle time or improved their cycle time um, and was just a lot more user friendly and a lot, lot, lot safer for them. But I thought it's super interesting that it had just having the staircase versus ladder alone had such an impact on their operations. It's really cool. Great. Yeah. So you guys have touched on a couple of the common challenges in defense. So, you know, storage and space for sure. Um, overreach, cantilever, getting on top of equipment to access it. Um, the need to protect the equipment being worked on. Are there other common challenges that you encounter in the defense industry for safe um, access, safe maintenance, safe you know, upper level um, access? I, I would say another large one is uh, mobility. Um, you know, being able to just move these systems around with one to two people is usually a pretty big driver. Uh, there's not always three to four people around to move these in place. So, you know, we strive to keep um, systems as lightweight as possible. Um, and aluminum really helps with that. As um, And we really try to work towards what the actual end needs are. Um, so we don't have a standard every system has to hold X amount of pounds, you know, one, you know, if you only need one person up there, we can really keep your system lighter um, and then accommodate as needed. Uh, and, and that really drives us to meeting the ideal solution for the use case. And that keeps the systems mobile. Um, we utilize some pretty decent casters that help do that anyway. Um, but overall just keeping the systems uh, user friendly in that in that circumstances are usually a big driver and i use the word usually like four times so <laughs> cut those out and smush the words together the same with safe 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 <laughs> does anybody have anything else to kind of add to it i was i was going to close it up uh, nope <laughs> Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. I uh, appreciate your time, Katie, Becky, and Shannon for joining me on this. Uh, until next time.